I use PHP and Homestand to develop Laravel sites. And when I do that, typically what I do is as I'm writing my tests, I run those tests inside a terminal window when um, SSHing into that Vagrant box. It's running on my local machine, but I SSH into that box to run my test. It would be great to use some of PHP Storm's testing features. So I'm going to walk you through using PHP Storm to test on a remote box using PHP unit. So the first thing we need to do is connect to that remote box so that we can use it to uh, run our tests. And so I'm going to open up my settings. Here they are. And under deployments where I need to be. So if uh, to follow along on the left hand side, build execution and a deployment. And I'm in the deployment portion of that. I'm going to click plus and let's give it a name. This is going to be Homestead. And I'm going to connect via SFTP. And I'm going to click OK. Uh, having this as my project settings is fine. So now I'm going to, uh, I need to enter my SFTP information. So I use Vagrant and Homestead. And if I didn't know exactly what to put in here, what I could do is I could uh, close this connection. I'm going to go to H halt, which is just actually H down, uh, which is just an alias for me. It's the same thing as running Vagrant down um, or Vagrant halt. I'm sorry. Um, let this run real quick and then we'll bring Vagrant back up and I'll show you where you'll look to get uh, your um, host information and port. So I I'm going to run H up, just an alias for Vagrant up for my homestead box. And as this runs, it's going to tell us um, our host and our port. It's doing some initial setup first. Let's get through this junk and then it's going to show us what our address is 1270.0.1 and our port is 2222. So let's enter that in 127.0.0.1 port 2222. Now we're going to test the SFTP information. We'll go ahead and set up our default username and password. And in this case, it is Vagrant. Vagrant. If you are using Homestead out of the box set up for Vagrant, yours will be Vagrant Vagrant too. So I'm going to click OK. You see I've connected just fine. I'm going to go ahead and set up my root path. I'm going to auto detect that and that's fine. Inside Vagrant I have a folder called code and inside that code folder where I have all my sites. I'm going to set up my URL which is storm.dv and let's see what uh, what next. Now I need to set up my mapping and I need to map this local folder which is to which is uh, where my site is in storm to my deployment path on homestead and so that is inside my code directory in a folder called storm and uh, as if you've ever done this with vagrant and uh, running a, a homestead through vagrant you know that you're you're um, syncing um, a local file system with that uh, with that vagrant boxes file system and that's how you code and so uh, our local path is this and our deployment path is this all right so all this is great i'm going to click apply now we need to get php storm to use the command line on this remote box that we just set up to do that, we are going to go to Languages and Frameworks, crack that open, PHP, and we're going to set up our CLI interpreter. CLI means command line interface. We need to tell PHP Storm how to interface with our command line on a remote server. To do that, we're going to go over here and add it, hit these three dots, and we're going to add our new command line interface, plus, and it's from Docker, Vagrant, VM, or Remote. We set up our remote box already, so we're going to use Remote, Deployment and went ahead and uh, went ahead and selected this for me, which is cool. Uh, but if it didn't, we're going to use the deployment configuration, and I would select Homestead here. All this stuff is set up for me. Looks great. I'm going to click OK. Now, all I'm going to do is I am going to change the name of this uh, to just Homestead PHP 7.2. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and apply this, and I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to use the command line interface on our remote server and we want to tell PHP storm so when we run our tests we want to run PHP unit using this command line interface under PHP or beside PHP we hit a little arrow here and we're going to go to testing frameworks and we're going to set one up hit the plus we're going to set up PHP unit and the interpreter we're going to use is homestead PHP storm so just stepping back through it we're setting PHP unit on our homestead command line which is on a remote box. So I'm going to click OK. We've added that in. Now we need to set up our configuration file for PHP unit inside um, for, for our Laravel project. And so we hit default. Go ahead and hit our arrows here. We're going to navigate to it. Home, Vagrant. For me, it's 
here are my sites and I'm going to look inside storm click OK oops I'm an idiot I didn't select the file so I get to do all that again code storm and PHP unit OK now that's configured I can click apply OK now that we have it set up we want to run our tests and we can go to the left hand side and you see these are already returning green um, I'm going to go ahead and click run test and it will do it for us boop now it passed I do want to show you one gotcha and it's something that uh, just I beat my head against uh, for a while until I realized oh crap I didn't I didn't do one small step which you see all our tests are passing in green and that's what we would expect to do um, but if you miss this step for your default configuration file I click apply and OK if we run our tests they won't return green even though we're refreshing our database and all this other stuff what in the world's going on oh my god everything's broken and the world is against me it turns out what it is is because we're not using our PHP unit configuration file it's reverting back to those defaults those Laravel defaults set up in our environment file and now we're using refresh database on whatever database we have configured in our environment file and so that's what's happening there so if you see all these errors and these tests should pass because if we're using refresh database with a SQLite in-memory database every time that database gets flushed between every method call inside a test but it's not here and that is because we have to go in and make sure we are using our default configuration file for a PHP unit apply OK and we'll run these tests again so I can show you that it all works beautiful so one nice thing about doing this is that you can run tests on folders or all your PHP or all tests so I can right click on my test directory and just do run and it'll run all the tests across all directories or if I just want to run my unit test or my feature test I can run it all right here which is nice and if I wanted to um, run a single I can run this entire class from within the file or I can run this single method from within this file too and so now I'm just running that single method and that's super useful especially when you're running tests and you have um, three methods one of them is failing in the file but you have to now you know run an entire file to try to catch the method and all this stuff and that can become a pain in the butt because you might be dumping something out on the server and blah 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 whatever anyway it becomes super useful if this test is failing and only this test is failing and we want to now focus on this test we can just run it this single method inside this without having to run all our tests so that is setting up PHP storm to run PHP unit on a remote server and in my case I'm running homestead on a vagrant box there you go thanks